So I have here an amazing piece uh, and also an amazing character. Basically Tony Stark aka Iron Man is the one who popularized first the MCU. So it was when I think we know that there's some future movies when uh, Nick Fury went to Tony Stark's house and then they that was the end credits of the, the first Iron Man. Here I have the Iron Man Mark III maquette from Sideshow Collectibles. This is actually in collaboration with the Legacy Effects, the ones who also made the effects for the Iron Man movies. Uh, so before we start, basically I'll have some information. So this you can, this is already, this is an exclusive piece. It's already uh, sold out. Uh, it has a price with uh, 700 USD and an edition size of 500. Um, and this actually is, has a dimensions of 22.5, 13 width and 16 in length. Um, I think I measured uh, maybe around 15 plus, but nonetheless, it's actually quite a big piece. I was a bit surprised. And so stay tuned. Uh, please keep watching the video and I hope you enjoy. Jarvis, you there? At your service, sir. Gauge heads up display. Check. Report all preferences from home interface. Will do, sir. All right, what do you say? I have indeed been uploaded, sir. We're online and ready. Can we start the virtual walk around? So, before we go, we start everything uh, with the review. Um, I just want to tell everyone that I do have a problem with the muddy feet. So when I received this piece, um, I, I was really hoping I wouldn't get that the, the muddy feet. And I really didn't like it. Um, I, I, I wanted a, a really weathered um, Iron Man, but it's really not the same as what Sideshow has provided in their website. That was quite good. For me, that was perfect. Um, but when I received it, it has this really bad muddy feet uh, or what I don't know how you call that one But I called it muddy feet and it, it You just couldn't see the red. Um, you're really having a hard time seeing or the red is really covered and I was really pissed off I was like, I really need a, how is a, a painter and before I was looking for some painter, I was really thinking, how about what if there's, I can do this myself, repaint it or something, and that was actually a bad, bad idea, um, or maybe like rub it off. I do not know what yet or how. I, I was just thinking, what if the paint actually, this uh, weathering is just actually on top of the the hot rod, red paint, and I was at that point, I was just it was just something that I was thinking and eventually after a few days i've got this because the piece is really good uh, as you can see it looks really amazing when i opened it up it it was it just the the color the the sculpt it just blew me away it was really good um i'm not sure if it's a, a screen accurate but it look at that one actually this is the back is actually quite really good and i was just uh, i have to keep this piece uh keeping this piece means i have to fix the muddy feet so what I did, I tried to call a painter here in Singapore and tried to contact them. They're, they're, they said that they can help me. But after a few days, I saw some posts uh, and they said that they were able to remove the, the mud or the weathering in the foot by just erasing it. I was like, what did, that's really an amazing thing. Uh, I was really surprised about that one. I, I thought that I, I thought of doing it but I didn't know that the eraser can actually remove it. So I have an eraser. I get this one because sometimes I also draw. Um, and I tried it just out of luck or I just want to try if it works good. If it damages the paint, I have already a painter who's ready to do this. So I don't mind. So I just did it when I did it. You, I have uh, before I did uh, I really like rub it off by using the eraser I erased basically the muddy feet or the mud or the weathering I took some pictures and there and then I so that I could see 
really the difference when I checked it. So I think it took me around, let's say, five minutes to really rob them off. So I, I took out all the arms and everything, just take the, the body and erased all that uh, all that weathering in the foot and i got this uh it's actually really good um it's not the same as the one from um from sideshow website but it actually did work so now i don't need any painter to repaint this uh this feet um it just now looks perfect to me um i can work with this one it, this is okay for me because it is a, a muddy uh, environment or let's say there's a lot of going on some dust or everything this is fine for me this is weathering for me uh, I'm not really angry at sideshow uh, with with this one but I'm angry that they really didn't follow what they have but nonetheless it worked I'm happy with this one this is perfect for me uh, because I always like weathering so now I have this I hope those guys are also planning to to find a painter or whatever try use doing this one first anyway you get your painter uh, just like what I did because for me it was it really didn't look good and I just say okay I have to do this I really need to try this one if it works then I don't need any painter so that is for that feat so going to the pieces now after now let's go to the piece um, the paint itself is actually really good for me um, there were a lot of people who said that the lines are there. The, the, there are a lot of spots and everything. Sorry, but for me, those are weathering. Um, in terms of lines, I never saw bad lines um, compared to the Mark Forty Two, if I'm correct, Mark Forty Two. Um, that was some some of it. There actually, there's a lot of it that's bad. For this one, the, the lines are are really nice. Uh, but you do would uh, but you would also see that there are a lot of like weathering or paint I would say in in actual they're like uh, grease or oil um, in an Iron Man suit and you would see it from a lot of corners of his suit uh, and near the edges even at the back you would see like a lot here there's actually like a lot of that one here and you would notice that one. Um, for some, I, I, I saw that they are complaining about this one. Um, if you want a clean Iron Man, I think there's a lot of clean Iron Mans there. But um, for normally Sideshow, they always make it like this, like really rugged, uh, damaged. That's what I like. I think the cleanest Iron Man I saw was the XM Mark 7. I think Mark 7, right? Uh, it was very clean, very shiny. If you like those kind of stuff, that piece is actually really good. Um, but that is also quite clean. Uh, for this one, don't expect it to be like that. Uh, Sideshow normally is like this. And take note also, it's not that easy painting or doing a paint job with weathering. It's not that easy. Um, I hope you also understand that one. So I think for the weathering, there are also some spots that are quite random. You would notice that one and um, the base itself is actually quite good I really like the contrast between the ironmonger and the ground the ground is about like a flesh or muddy uh, brown or something and the ironmonger is, has this black um, somehow burned um, plates and also the gray also complements the, the color of the ground so it looks really good and to top it off, the Iron Man, the color scheme is really nice. So I really like that one. And also for, again, again uh, this is not the perfect piece. So nitpicking, I think I've seen a lot of uh, oversprays in the base. They're actually at the back. Most of them are at the back. Uh, you normally couldn't see it, but I, I'm not really that, um, that how I would say, I mean, it's not that bad for me. Uh, it's really just okay. So um, another nitpick, or actually I, I'm, I'm not really a fan of this one, is like the, the scratch in the head. This one, I really do wish that it was a sculpt uh, and not just a paint. So this one, I, I, I was a bit disappointed. Um, I really wanted that the scratch here is really good, uh, really nicely done. 
but uh, with the scope not just some paint huh? because now I think I've seen also some pictures that they didn't really like I think some are just even very small and that's quite bad um, it's not that accurate uh, to the ones or the, to the prototype as well so going to the scope the scope is really good uh, I really like the Iron Man I uh, again I'm not uh, that of a fanboy of Iron Man but I'm not sure if it's really um, movie accurate uh, but nonetheless the edges are really good um, if you look at the this arm there's some nice contour here and the edge how it bends it looks really good and I really do like that one uh, the, again the iron monger iron monger it, the base also is really amazing I like I love the base I love the bullet holes in the iron monger and some of the scratches and let's say dents as well it looks really amazing and again um, this the sculpt of this one is actually really good the 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 piece also itself uh, as I think I mentioned earlier that it's quite big I didn't expect it was that big um, even for me the, the base is also like really big for me I thought it was a bit smaller uh, it's actually consumes a lot of space to be honest um, yeah and for the design I like the concept I love the concept that is like this one uh, I like the fact that the pose is like this uh, I like the fact that they he's standing on top of the iron monger the color scheme is really good there's a light of features and the, there's also some flickering in the iron monger base um, the hands also lights up the the eyes lights up this one also lights up really good when you see this in, in the evening it looks really nice uh, together with the color scheme that you have there another stuff is that it's really easy to to assemble this piece really really easy I, I didn't have any problems I hope none of you have some I think I saw only one having a problem this part seems to be moving um, I do not know why is that one uh, the ES for this again is very is quite low it's 500 and the only nitpick actually not a nitpick i'm really not a fan uh is the iron monger head this one um not a fan because normally i like x e x pieces to be in um in the statue um because i may at some point i would might just put this in the uh, uh in the box uh in my switch out box or whatever um, and also there's a lot of arguments that this is not um, screen accurate because the helmet was actually I think it was a, a hollow helmet and this one even has some wires in it so that's why there's an uproar about this one that is not uh, screen accurate for me I, I really don't mind it's actually quite a good um, display piece also but I do wish something else um, some other stuff I like I said I, I would rather have the some uh, an, an extra arm or some plate here that somehow it goes goes out or something or something like in here that you can place in here that it somehow opens that would have been a really good uh, how would say a EX or maybe an extra head so yeah that's a uh, nitpicking and uh, not again not sorry not really nitpicking but I do wish it was like that one so again this is for me now is really really good uh, I solved my issue with the feet and everything um, I'm really satisfied for this piece right now so as for the rating and for paint job the quality uh, I give this a 3.5 because they actually really screwed up with the muddy feet and there and also the 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 scratch uh, I really do wish that they made it like that and I also do see some um, I'm not sure maybe some sloppy uh, weathering from time to time I can see it from some places in or in the plates but nonetheless the really major issue for me was the mud feet uh, but that's why I'm giving a 3.5 for quality for color and uh, or color scheme I'm giving this a 5 definitely five if you've seen the the base 
and the Iron Man and the Iron Monger, the color scheme really complemented each other and it looks really good. For weathering, I am actually giving this, supposedly giving this a 5, but since they messed it up, I'm just giving this a 4.5. I do wish that they didn't mess that up, I would have given this a 5.0 because I really like the weathering in this one. Um, for detail, uh, shadows and highlights, you wouldn't really see any shadows and highlights for Iron Man. Um, I, I haven't seen it, sorry, I, I really didn't see anything. I couldn't see any shadowing effect or highlighting effect in the, in the plates or anything. Um, but I do see some in the Iron Monger or in the base. Um, the Iron Man may be in, in very dark corners of the, of the plates in his suit. Um, maybe at the back. I, I also haven't seen that. I mostly see those, um, how would say, those uh, weathering. But nonetheless, um, the base has the, those shadows and highlights and basically if you have this light uh, flash in the Iron Man, you can actually see that it's really nicely highlighted anyway. So I'm giving the shadows and highlight a 4.0. For sculpt, sculpt quality, I never see, I uh, haven't seen any problem. So I'm giving it a 5.0. I didn't really see anything that's damaged or anything. So yeah, I'm giving it a 5.0. For texture, unfortunately, I would have really given this a higher uh, rating if some of the scratches they made it um, like really not, like the one in the Iron Monger. But no, they haven't done that because so basically there's really not much texture in, in, in Iron Man, only the base. There's some textures in the base that is really good, and especially the gravel around him. Really nice. Uh, so I'm giving a texture for 4.0. For uh, weight and size, I do like the weight and size of this one. Um, I just do wish that the size of the base is a bit smaller. That's it. Um, but the weight and size, it has a really good weight to be honest. So I'm giving it a 4.5. Uh, for details and complexity, again, I would really want it that the scratches are sculpted and not just painted. Uh, there's a lot of that in here. And I would have also wanted that there's some mechanism that opened or something. Uh, but it's not really there. Uh, but nonetheless, the details, uh, the contours, the edges uh, are just too beautiful. Uh, they are really nicely done. I really like the this part also at the back. As you notice, it looks really good. And also, um, uh, this view, it's also really good. As you notice... It's absolutely amazing, so I'm giving the uh, the details of this one with 4.5 as well. Uh, for the concept, I really do love the concept. Uh, I really like the, the base, uh, the Iron Man pose and everything. The only concern for me was the, the extra head. Uh, I'm not really a fan of that one, so that's why I'm giving it a 4.5 for the uh, concept. Uh, for displayability, since the base is quite big, um, there's no problem with the Iron Man. It's just standing there, nice nice pose, but the base really consumes quite a lot. I really do wish that they uh, made the base a bit smaller, um, but again, that's fine. Uh, so that's why I'm giving it a 4.5 for displayability. For assembly, I'm giving it a 5. It's very easy to display. never had a problem this, uh, assembling this one. So... I'm giving it a 5.0 for the switch outs and mixed media I'm giving this uh, a 4.5 because again I didn't like the extra head um, that's the only thing but the mixed media for this one like for example the light up features it's like flickering it looks it is it's very good um, so I'm giving it a 5 a 4.5 so those are the ratings and again this piece is absolutely amazing for me now uh right now this works i don't need any any repaints i hope also other guys understand that some of those uh, black parts are or some other stuff they're weathering they're not really uh paint issues maybe there are some maybe it's a bit sloppily done so you can actually complain that to sideshow but again take note he's not meant to be shiny and super clean so that's the only thing i can uh, 
safe for regards to those topics. And yep, so this is a Saijo Iron Man Mark III maquette and it's already sold exclusive. This is already sold out with the edition size of 500. So thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed and learned something or got, uh, or you can try also the eraser technique. <laughs> so nonetheless, um, I do hope you stay tuned for more videos and also please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.